Thank you, Shara. So it's the end of November 2014. Can't believe why this entire year has flown by. It's the end of November. And we're almost into the festive season of Christmas, of New Year's, and not to forget the vibrant and the big fat wedding season in India. So I'm sure you guys are looking forward to attending a few weddings, a few Christmas parties, a few New Year's parties, and we hope that all the products that we mentioned in this video provide you some inspiration to go out and try these amazing things out for yourselves. And I'm just going to dive in with my favorites now and I will begin with a product that has already been mentioned in our favorites video. In fact, it was very recent that it was mentioned, but it was Sheena who mentioned and I hadn't used this till then. Uh, so, but then I have fallen in love with it so badly that I had to, had to, had to mention it as one of my favorites. And it's the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the color 110. Uh, so Sheena and I had laid eyes together on this lipstick when she was here in London visiting me um, and however there was just one of this left in the store at that time it's always out of stock whenever I've gone there I don't know I just can't seem to get enough of it I'm wearing it at home I'm in love with it so much uh, and uh, yes this is like just the amazing color I always wanted so yeah as Sheena said it's a very pigmented beautiful um, cherry red color. I'm wearing it right now so you can see the amazing brightness it gives to the face and it just makes your face look so much more awake and so much more fresh. Uh, it lasts really long too. Like on me, I found it to last 4 to 5 hours because I've been wearing it at home so I have been eating my food with it on, drinking my milk with it on uh, and it still seems to stay put uh, very nicely and I can go on for about four to five hours with, without a touch up of this particular uh, lipstick. This will be such an amazing color to wear with all your ethnic outfits when you are attending a wedding. So yes, it's a must, must, must have. I can't say that enough, guys. This is a must have. So my second favorite of this month is this Barry M eyeshadow stick in the color number seven. And it's a beautiful metallic -y, blacky purple. I myself never, never have seemed to enjoy wearing color on my eyelids and um, I haven't warmed up to the teal and blue eyeshadows that are gradually creeping into the makeup trend again. So this is like the perfect middle path, like it's still a colour but really not a colour and you can easily use it uh, in a smoked out look with your uh, western dresses with a nice sexy LVD or because it's a very festive shiny purple colour, not shiny well, it's got a slight metallic tint to it, uh, you can easily wear it with your ethnic dresses as well. It's super creamy and goes onto the skin very easily, very smoothly and evenly and is easily blendable uh, because of the creamy texture into your creases using your finger, using your brush, whatever you prefer and I really recommend this to all of you and I love it. My third favourite of this month is the Soak Opera Bath Soak and Shower Cream by Zoella Beauty. Now Zoella Beauty is not one of the conventional beauty brands, in fact it's a beauty product range launched by one of my favourite YouTubers. Uh, called Zoe. Her channel is called Zoella and hence the product name. She's a UK based YouTuber and is one of my favorites ever. I think she is very very sweet and has an amazing energy about her videos and a lot of positivity about her. So I think that you guys should check her out and I'm going to leave the link to her channel down below. So do check it out, you will love it. Uh, I had discovered her last year and have been following her ever since. So, uh, coming back to the shower cream, this has vitamin E, shea butter and aloe extracts in it and we all of us know uh, how moisturizing vitamin E and shea butter are for the skin and because the winter season is setting in, uh, it's good to have these ingredients in your products, in fact all skincare products and uh, I haven't really enjoyed using this, in fact I love my Soap and Glory Clean On Me shower gel, you know I've mentioned it before as well and I have loved, loved, loved using it and I just stitched that only last month to try this out and it smells absolutely delicious. Ooh, I've got some of it on my nose now. Yeah, so this smells absolutely delicious and even though it says that it's got floral notes on it, it's not one of those very strong floral notes kind of a smell that usually Palmolive or Lux usually have. This particular product retails of feelunique.com, a website which is basically UK based but they ship worldwide and uh, any orders above 10 pounds are shipped for free worldwide. 
So that's not a lot of money to try amazing products from and some of the products are not eligible for worldwide delivery but this one is. Go ahead and try this out. You will not be disappointed and you will love it. Especially if you're in a place where you know your skin tends to get very dry from the chill in the air. So yeah, my favorite number three. And now let's move on to Shreya to see what her favorites were. Hi guys, let's just dive into my favorites. I want to apologize up front because my throat is a little bad right now. Um, but anyhow, let's get started because I'm really excited to show you guys what I really like this month. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is the Lush Bath Bombs. You know that the Lush Bath was coming, right? Because I skipped it last month. Um, so as I said, winter is a time for baths and just staying indoors and being cozy and warm. So the Bath Bombs always remind me of winter. I absolutely love it. This particular one is called the Dragon's Egg. It's a nice lemony citrusy one. Um, I think the smell is really good but other than that it has very essential oil so whenever you come out of the bath you feel as if the dryness that is caused you the winter is actually getting repaired and it actually contains lemon so it's a natural ingredient which helps to tone your skin a little bit. Um, they're absolutely amazing and the way you basically have to use them is that you use the bath bomb just dip it into your bath and it just fizzles and creates this little nice foamy texture. I don't like using the whole of this ball in one go so I always cut it into half and use half of it for one go so you basically get two uses out of this one single one because it's slightly pricey it's about six to seven dollars and so I think it's slightly pricey to use it in one go so I like being resourceful so yeah the Lush Bath Bomb is my number one. My second favorite of the month is the Gucci Guilty Perfume. Um, I really really like this perfume and I always buy roll-on sizes, you must have seen uh, my other perfume as well that I had. It's just because I like trying them on for a longer period of time just before I know that it actually suits me and um, I like the smell and it lasts long as well. Um, I just try to like to test all of these things and the other reason also is because it's extremely portable, I can just throw it in my bag and use it throughout the day whenever I feel like. Um, this has a really really warm smell, it's especially suited for the winter I feel because it's not citrusy or floral, floral which are more of the summer or spring notes. Um, it was about somewhere between 15 to 20 dollars so I don't consider this to be extremely expensive considering that it was a Gucci. Um, the other reason, thing that I kind of didn't like about this was that it's not a really long lasting fragrance. It's really good but it doesn't last as much and so I have to at least use it two um, times a day, sometimes three if I'm actually going out for dinner in the evening. Um, but still I really like the smell and so I would definitely pick this as my number two. My third and last favorite for the month is actually a lipstick. Um, it's from Tarte, uh, it's an Amazonian buttered lipstick and the shade is Tulip. Um, I know that winter generally for people is are more of the red and berry tones but I, for me somehow they're really really overwhelming. I somehow feel I'm not as comfortable carrying myself in those kind of shades so I generally always stick to nudes or pinks. I like to experiment a little bit but I'm not really comfortable with wearing that stuff but I think I really like this shade because it is slightly reddish but it's pinkish at the same time and so the color of red is not as um, overwhelming, it's slightly subdued and that's the reason why I really like it. Um, the other reason I love Tarte is because they have Amazonian butter in it. It's almost like a creamy balm that you're actually applying all over your lips. So more than a lipstick, this is actually almost like a balm for me. Um, I really really like it. Um, the shade is sort of seems like that. Um, it's really really nice. And for people who don't like to experiment too much with like really dark berry notes or reds, I really suggest that they should give this a go. Um, so this will be my number three. Now let's move on to Sheena to see what she has to say for hers. Hi, moving on to my favorites in this month's favorite list. I want to start with uh, Bird Bee's Mama Bee uh, Nourishing Body Oil which contains vitamin E. Uh, now this is something I discovered last season, last winter's uh, at the Sephora Delhi shop 
and I immediately fell in love with the fragrance. It just smells heavenly. Uh, it's got uh, sweet uh, almond and lemon peel oil, uh, which really works wonders for my skin because my skin tends to get very, very dry during winters to the point of uh, getting chafed very easily. Uh, that's why I have to nourish it every day without fail. And this is something which really works. It costs around 900 bucks. This time I got really lucky, I got it at a discount. And the next thing in my favorites list is this very pretty pale pink cream uh, blush by Stila. It looks like this. And the color is called Lilium. Stila has a beautiful range of cream uh, blushes which I just recently discovered and I'm in love with them. Uh, but that's because I've been totally obsessed with cream blushes uh, during winter season. I just love the flushed uh, glow it gives to your skin during winters. A lot of people use cream uh, blushes during the summers but uh, during summers cream blushes do not suit me since my skin gets very oily and it tends to run down on my skin it just looks very bad. But during the winters it's another story altogether. Uh, the cream blush sets on the skin so nicely and it just gives you a very warm and a flushed look which I just love that just out of the gym look. It looks really really good. Uh, this one costs around 1600 bucks, which is a little expensive. Uh, that's why I did not buy another color. I fell in love with another color too. But I think I do that the next uh, time I go to a Sephora store. And that is because um, this color sets really beautifully on the skin. It does not freeze in a second. It takes time to set so that you can you know, dab it around with your fingers. And it sets really really nicely. The third item in my favorites list for this time is the Curve Liner by NYX. I've already written a post on this and it's raved enough in the post so I will put a link to the post in the description box below. Uh, this liner works wonders for my eyes. It's very easy to apply because the liner fits perfectly between my thumb and my forefinger. So you hold it like a pen and that's the best thing about the liner. It's a liquid liner though and has a glossy finish uh, which I really love. Uh, it is not smudge proof so uh, I tend to uh, wait for 30 seconds after I apply the liner but apart from that it works really well. It does not smudge a lot. You have to avoid uh, rubbing your eyes with this liner and it costs around 1300 bucks in India though the online websites are really ripping you off guys. They are charging a lot more. For a novice like me who wasn't very good at applying eyeliners, this is a godsend because it really helps me apply a straight liner at least that much it does for me. So before we sign off guys, I want to remind you again of the awesome competition that we have for you guys. It's an amazing giveaway by Lara Karen. Uh, I'll put the link to the competition in the description box. Do visit our website and you get a chance to win that amazing, amazing neck piece. And uh, we put up new videos every Sunday. So if you like us, do subscribe to us. Also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We are also there on Facebook. So do like us. And if you like this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And that's it from our side. And as we say, keep brandishing.